Apache Hadoop is the open source framework which satisfies the big data requirement. Within Hadoop, we do have two major components that is HDFS and YAM. HDFS Hadoop distributed file system which satisfies huge storage requirement where it can scale horizontally, it can provide high availability as well. The other component YARN, yet another resource negotiator, that is the resource management tool or the resource management component within Hadoop. Almost every component within Hadoop, it works with master worker architecture where I will be having one or n number of master based on the availability requirement that I have and n number of workers will be reporting to the master. Let us see more in detail about the HDFS and YARN. As we have discussed, HDFS that's going to satisfy the storage requirement that works with the master worker architecture. The name of the master is called a name node and that is going to be a process that will run in a machine. And the worker component that satisfies the requirement is called data node and that again it would be a process that will be running in each and every worker machine. All the data node will be reporting to the name node. It keeps sending a heartbeat signal every 3 seconds saying I am active and alive. And also it sends a block report saying what are all the data that it is maintaining and that block report would be sent every 10 minutes. And all the value that I am referring over here is the default value as an administrator they should be in a position to change it or do the optimization by increasing or decreasing these values. Whenever I add any file into the HDFS, the files would get broken into pieces based on the criteria called block size. The default block size is 128 MB. I'm going to add a file of size 150 MB. It would get broken into pieces. 128 MB is the default criteria. Exactly at the 128 MB bit, the file will be sliced into and the remaining data as it is, whatever the capacity, it would get stored within the data node. So in this case, 150 MB will be sliced into 128 MB and 22 MB. It may get distributed into n number of systems. The criteria it's going to follow is whichever the data node is having more resources to store the data, in that particular system, the data would get stored. And name node would maintain the meta information. I'm going to store the file ABC it will store the meta information saying it is divided into two blocks b1 and b2 b1 is stored in system 1 and b2 is stored in system 2 it has another criteria called a replication factor where every data would get replicated three times there is nothing like a master and copy of the data whatever the data that it has it would get three copies stored within the system and where and all those copies are getting stored, that information will be stored within the metadata that is in S1, S3 and S4 and uh, B2 is stored in S2, S3 and S4. And name node will be the first point of contact whenever I wanted to get the information. It would get what are all the blocks the file is divided into and uh, that would get served from the data node parallelly. So we have achieved the parallelism as well as we have achieved the horizontal scalability and uh, the data is distributed across different machines. So HDFS that is the name node and data nodes together that provides the service HDFS Hadoop distributed file system that can scale up to any number of systems. So we have safeguarded the system by using the replication factor as well as distributing across multiple systems. and. Uh, the data available within the name node can be taken as a backup in two different modes that is hot backup and cold backup. The data within the name node that is the metadata can be taken backup by two different systems. One is called a secondary name node that's going to be a cold backup in the sense it would copy the data every one hour. It would communicate with the name node and it would get the copy of the data every one hour and it keeps it within itself. We call that as a checkpointing and uh, the secondary name node is also called as a checkpoint system. And generally organizations wanted to have the real-time backup that is served by another system called standby name node. And based on the requirement within the organization either the secondary name node or standby name node can be established and the standby name node is a hot backup 
way it keeps itself in sync all the time and architecturally that is defined how to keep it in sync and that's the responsibility of the administrator to do the configuration of standby NA node or secondary NA node based on the strategy that needs to be followed within the organization. So in simple HDFS that is NA node and data node together that's going to serve the storage requirement and uh, every data will be served that is the read and write operation will be served by the data node and NA node would store just the metadata and always the first point of contact to access any file within the HDFS will be the name node. 